Investigations sponsored by the International Space Station U.S. National Laboratory are primed for launch on SpaceX's 18th Commercial Resupply Services Mission to Orbiting Laboratory. When we say that this launch is packed with research, we mean it. This launch has more payloads than we have ever sent on a single mission. Private sector companies, academic researchers, STEM projects, life and physical sciences, all on this mission. So let's get an idea about some of the payloads that are launching on SpaceX CRS-18. The Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company is sending what they hope is the first of many investigations to the ISS National Lab. This initial experiment will evaluate the formation of silica particles in microgravity. Silica is a common material used in consumer tires. However, silica and rubber are materials that don't easily bond. Can the microgravity environment of the space station allow Goodyear to find silica morphologies not possible on Earth? If so, this could lead to improvements in fuel efficiency and other performance factors in consumer tires. The space station is an ever-evolving research platform, and NASA and the ISS National Lab are constantly sponsoring new facilities on the orbiting laboratory to increase the capacity for innovative research. This launch, America's first automated bioprinter for use in space, will make its way to station. Developed by TechShot, this bioprinter will initially seek to print cardiac-like tissue. The printed tissues will remain on station until they are strong enough for the return trip to be analyzed on Earth. While the ability to manufacture human organs is likely many years away, this bioprinter could lead to unique methods of industrial biomedicine and microgravity to develop materials for patient care on Earth. Part of the role of the ISS National Lab is to inspire and educate the next generation. And what better way to do that than by forming fun and exciting collaborations with unique partners? Not many young students understand the term non-Newtonian fluidics in a microgravity environment. However, just about every young student is familiar with Nickelodeon and its iconic slime. So on this mission, Nickelodeon Slime in Space will make its way to station for a variety of demonstrations to educate students on the basic concepts of fluid flow and microgravity compared with normal gravity conditions on Earth. So there you have it. Advanced materials, industrial biomedicine, education payloads, new facilities, and repeat flight partners. This mission represents the demand that continues to build as more researchers and companies recognize the unique potential for sustained R&D in microgravity. To learn more about all ISS National Lab sponsored payloads on this mission and how to become part of the Space Station Research Community, visit issnationallab.org.